What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFPNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my chocolate mint overnight protein oatmeal. Like most of my recipes, it's really quick, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out a bowl that we're just gonna add all of our ingredients into, starting with a half a cup or 40 grams of rolled oats, and then three ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, regular milk, or any other milk substitute. One and a half scoops or 45 grams of a chocolate protein powder, two tablespoons or 10 grams of cocoa powder, which is a great way to get some extra fiber in your diet with two grams for every 10 calories, half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Peppermint extract is extremely potent, so make sure you don't overdo it. One tablespoon or 15 grams of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You could also melt your chocolate chips for more of a rich chocolate flavor. Half a container, which is 2.65 ounces or 75 grams of a fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt. And last, which is optional, some green food coloring. Go ahead now and mix everything together. Cover it and then put it into the fridge for a couple hours, preferably overnight. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 506, 10 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fiber, and 53 grams of protein. And there is your chocolate mint overnight protein oatmeal. As you guys saw, the oatmeal is done, so now I'm just gonna try a bite. First off, it thickens up in the fridge overnight, so then you combine that with being cold, and this pretty much turns into a chocolate mint ice cream cake. It's absolutely delicious, and if you like chocolate mint, you're gonna love this. Question of the day for you guys, if you had to choose between chocolate or vanilla for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Personally, I'd choose chocolate. Let me know in the comments below. All right guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can do so on the screen coming up by clicking somewhere down there. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some oatmeal to finish. Stay healthy.